In spring 2005, Mira Nair started filming an adaptation of the novel The Namesake. Thai film director Aditya Asarat was able to shadow Mira and her crew on location in New York and Kolkata. Calcutta is a city for cinema. In Calcutta, the policeman has stopped me and admired dialogue from the film or told me where I come from. I mean, it's unbelievable here how, how erudite and how cultured and how energized people are about cinema. Uh, hey, are you? Good to see you. Oh, gosh, before I step in your food. Good to see you. This is very exciting. Who's yeah. following us around? How's everything going? It's going well. It's going well. Look at this amazing house we have. Yeah, We're good. both yeah. Asians that grew up in the West. You know, Mira went to school, was schooled in the U.S., and so was I. And even now, you know, she's very much has one foot in India and one foot in in America. All right, let's go back to yeah, work. Stand by. Roll sound. Rolling. So it's a, it's a journey. Then I hope always to have that adrenaline and always to have that sense of uh, curiosity and hoping I'm doing it all right, rather than just sitting back and knowing I know how to do this. I have something that will cheer you And to make people feel that they really are uh, embraced in the process. And the process, as we all know, is very, very arduous and very, very brutal, especially in my films, because we have very little money relative to most and very little time as a result. So to how to maximize is the key for me, you know. Very good, let's cut again. Let's cut and, and do it again. I'm interested in telling stories. Um, I'm interested in people. That's one thing that Mira and I have in common is that I think we both started out as documentarians at heart. Even though my short films are fiction, they're very much fiction based on the reality of events in Thailand. The thing that I hold highest above everything in a film is that the first thing it must do is reflect the director. I think that, that is my definition of, of, of an art film. You know, it doesn't need to be slow and boring and how other people define art films, but a, a film is art to me when I look at it and I, I get the feeling that I understand what the director is like as a person. When she directs, the thing that I get the most out of her, that I learn from her, is that she's always She's the host of a party. It's really important that we don't have all these people looking at us. But I want the people in the film. The way I've always done it in the past is I've appealed to them and said, please do not look at us, please do not ruin our work, but please be with us. And I think that, that goes a lot towards holding a film crew together and giving everybody encouragement and energy to keep on going, is that you're throwing a two-month-long party, and it has to be fun and has to continue to be fun and it cannot, you know, get boring. And I think that's Mary's talent, is that she keeps the set lively and fun every single day. It's actually about orchestrating chaos. You know, I love that chaos. I've, I've just thrive in it. And in India, we speak poetry to each other. It's like that, you know, you know, help me and then you will be reborn, you know, things like that we say to each other. I, I at least talk like that. I mean, as, as the protege, it's a great experience. You know, it's been an eye-opener. It, it, it's, it's invaluable, the experience that, that I've been given to essentially watch Mira at work. Um, it's, it's an experience that, you know, I think any, any, any young filmmaker would, would, would kill for. In Aditya's work, I saw something I could learn from, you know? I mean, I just felt that there was the possibility of a real, real dialogue rather than me always teaching or preaching, you know? The big advice that I would give Aditya is to just believe in yourself and what you want to say, to listen to your instinct. He will make it, he will make it. He's too special, you know, not to make it. That would not be possible.